Hey, welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're gonna show you how to test an electric steering. So right here, you can see that we have the electric motor. This is uh, the main feed that comes to it. So here is the main feed and it connects right here. Okay, we have that disconnected and it comes to the electric motor that assists you when you turn the steering wheel. What you wanna check is the motor itself you need to check the resistance. So we can have connected these two leads right here to the terminals there. And then you take your volt, uh, multimeter. You can see how it's set on the uh, resistance setting and you're gonna get um, zero resistance basically. It's, it's basically what's happening when you measure uh, resistance, you got electrons going through. The negative goes through the coil inside the motor and it needs to come back on the other line so that's why you should get zero resistance that's how you test the electric motor but then you also want to see here if uh, if that's good you want to test this here and see if you're getting 12 volts so you can connect these two you'll take this out and then you know you have probes that you can plug one there one there and on your volt or multimeter you're gonna have that in the volt setting and DC voltage right there as you can see and you need to measure the voltage and it, it needs to be around 11 12 13 whatever your battery voltage is you got to see that voltage coming in coming in here so you got to see voltage coming here you, you got to check resistance here if you have no voltage coming with when you turn on the ignition uh, then you have a issue before the electric uh, power rack here but if you got voltage here but you don't have resistance here at all maybe your electric motor is bad and then you also can test this line right here this connects to a sensor um, right there uh, you, now this is gonna be different between models but um, so that that most likely is gonna be a, a 5 volt that comes here but it, it's just gonna vary between make uh, between makes so uh, you have to look at that and find out uh, what's um, if whether it's this is receiving or sending a signal uh, but the main thing that you want to check is basically if you got power coming in here and if this if you got power then you want to check this for resistance and see if this itself is bad and that's it thank you for watching